Well, I was uh, standing in the street uh, in Goulburn Road in Notting Hill, not the sort of place you'd expect to be attacked. It's an area uh, largely populated by Moroccan friends of mine. Uh, and I was just getting into my car when two such uh, Moroccan citizens asked me if I would mind uh, having my picture taken with them. So I was detained briefly uh, to do that, and just as I was posing for a picture, suddenly, as if from nowhere, like a bat out of hell, this white man was running towards me, screaming uh, abuse, foul language, and began raining punches upon me. Uh, it lasted, the assault lasted for about three minutes, which doesn't sound like a long time, but is a long time when you're being repeatedly punched and kicked. Uh, I ended up uh, smashing against the grill of a delicatessen near where I was parked, ended up on the ground, and at that stage I thought, this man is going to kick me to death. Uh, there was no one uh, other than the two gentlemen and I in the street. They were themselves of an age, uh, not quite as old as me, but uh, of an age, and they clearly uh, took some time to recover from the shock of what was happening themselves. In the end, both of them pulled the man off me. He then assaulted one of those, uh, which is included on his charge sheet, and uh, when they pulled him off me, I um, got into the car and called the police. Then I followed the uh, assailant in the car with one of the Moroccan gentlemen all the way uh, for about a mile all the time talking with the police telling them where I was where he was and so on um, the police then told me not to follow him any further because we were headed into narrow streets uh, but the police arrived just in time to see him getting on board the number 23 bus uh, and the police van drove in front of the bus, very dramatic, stopped the bus. The bus driver then got out, recognized me and the state that I was in and was extremely distraught. And the police officers, uh, women police officers, I may say, very bravely piled onto the bus and arrested a man wearing an Israel Defense Force uh, pink shirt uh, with the logo of the IDF on the front and the Hebrew uh, writing of the IDF's uh, motto. Um, so he clearly come dressed for the occasion. Uh, and he calmly turned around and uh, allowed them to cuff him and take him away. I then had to go to hospital. Uh, I was uh, quite badly hurt. Uh, my head uh, and upper face but most especially my rib cage, which remains uh, excruciatingly uh, painful. I can hardly move. Uh, I can't pick up my baby. I can't hug my wife. I can't pick up a cup without grimacing in, uh, in pain. And it's now a few days after the assault. I'm taking very powerful painkillers. So the police helped me a lot, and the uh, hospital, St. Mary's Paddington, looked after me uh, wonderfully uh, also. And uh, a gentleman has now appeared in court, uh, and I await the uh, outcome of that. Well, I don't think it's to do with the comments that I made recently, but my, my 40 years of work on the Palestine question. The man was clearly, as we now know from his Facebook and Twitter account, uh, an absolutely fanatical Zionist, a fanatical supporter of the IDF, whose shirt he was wearing when he attacked me. Um, and so he hates me. Um, now, we're always hearing about uh, Muslim extremists. I just ask you this question. If a Muslim fanatic supporter of Hamas had attacked, say, a pro-Israel MP on the streets of London, 
uh, would this story now be uh, rather bigger than the story about the attack on me? Would the charge have involved terrorism? And I think any fair-minded person would conclude that the answer to both of those questions is yes. Yes, it's an attack on Parliament, it's an attack on democracy, and it's a, an attack on my constituents, not just the geographic constituency of Bradford West, though it is, uh, but the wider constituency that I speak for, which is, by anybody's reckoning, some millions of people, all of whom have the right to be represented, all of whom have a right to have their view represented without it being clubbed down in the street. Uh, so the authorities really ought to take this very seriously indeed. So far, there's not a great deal of sign that they are. They ought to think carefully because I know that the establishment and the authorities and the state don't like me. I'm not asking them to like me. I don't like them very much. But if Britain is going to become a country where a 60-year-old, six times elected parliamentarian can be viciously assaulted on the street, uh, then who next? Which, who's the next MP that's going to be uh, savagely attacked physically for their uh, views? And where does that stop? Uh, Britain's not really traditionally been that kind of a country, and the authorities should think carefully before doing or not doing anything that will stop us becoming one. I'm bloodied, but unbowed. Uh, as long as God gives me breath, I'll speak. I won't change my thinking or my, uh, my talking, but uh, I will have to change a, a lot of things now about my life, how I live it, and my political life. I have spent decades walking around freely and openly in the streets, uh, being afraid of no one. But I'm older now, and there's now something to be afraid of. Uh, so I'll have to take much more serious precautions. And that's a pity, because it changes the way I've done politics for decades. Well, I thank God that neither my wife nor my young children were with me. If they had been with me, it is unimaginable the effect that what they would have seen would have had uh, upon them. But my wife and children are normally with me. Uh, it was just by chance that nobody was. Um, so I can't take the risk of... Uh, of uh, being out and about quite in the way that I used to be. And at public meetings, for example, it's normal that very large numbers of people stay behind. They want pictures, they want books signing, and so on. But that kind of up-close and personal politics will, will have to be severely circumscribed because, um, as the police have warned me, it's sometimes the man who's smiling at you. Uh, who's the one who's ready to attack you.